Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. In this video, we continue learning about the quadratic equation with parameter. And in the last video, I give you the one example about the finding the value of parameter for quadratic equation has one real solution, two real solution, or maybe no real solution. And of course, this kind of exercise is not easy, so I give you this video for practicing more about the exercise. And as you see in the picture, in the slide, the, uh, the question asks you about find the set of value of k for which the equation a square plus k h minus 3m minus x equal to 0 has two distinct solutions. What does it mean two distinct solutions? It is a conditional for discriminant. Two distinct solutions for quadratic equation is mean the discriminant have to be positive or greater than zero. So the blue example here you got, you have to find the con um, you have to find the value of m. The condition for discriminant had to be greater than zero. So this equation will have two distinct solution. Okay. And the first step, you need to find the expression of discriminant first. For do that, you find the value of A, value of B, and value of C for the first quadratic. Uh, value of A, you got 1. Value of B, you got K. And value of C, you got negative 3 and negative 8. So this is the value of ABC. The next step, you find the discriminant B squared minus for AC and then I'm substitute the value of B first. K square minus minus 4 multiply A is 1 multiply C uh, negative 3M and negative 8 but I have to put it inside the bracket. Sorry this is not yeah this is not M anymore this is K. Sorry this is K. Yeah, this is k and then I will expand the bracket you got here is plus 8 uh, plus 12k and plus 32 and this is an expression for discriminant I need to find the value of discriminant greater than 0 so this quadratic equation have to be greater than 0 yeah and the quadratic here is k squared plus 12k plus 32 is not the first equation, the first quadratic anymore because it is a conditional for discriminant. So the total question here becomes to the new question, quadratic inequality. So how can you find the quadratic inequality? Um, I will find the value of k first for quadratic equation first. I mean this one had to be equal to 0 and then I got two value of k the first k I got negative 4 and the second one you got negative 8 and I put the two number here into the number line value of k and the right hand side will be negative 4 for bigger one and the left hand side for negative 8 for smaller one and then uh, the two these two value of k will divide this number line for k be, uh, into the three parts and I will find the positive or negative side for each part. I will base on the value of a. The value of a, I, can, I don't care about the value of a for the first quadratic equation. I care about the a, the value of a for the second, for the second quadratic equation. I mean k squared plus 12k plus 32. So for this one, you got value of a equal to 1, it is positive, so that's why I will put the number, sorry, I will change the number here, uh, I, you got here is plus, and the two outside part will be the same positive or negative with a, and the middle one will be opposite negative. And I care about what? I care about the greater than 0, so care about the value of k for quadratic equation is positive I mean this one and this one this part and this part these two outside part okay and the first part is left hand side of negative 8 so that's why I got k less than negative 8 
and the third one and uh, then second one you got uh, this part is right hand side of negative 4 so that's why you got k will be greater than negative 4 and that's why I will have here in this one sorry that's why I will have this it sets a value for k for the equation has two distinct solutions yeah okay that is very easy right it is the total way you saw your working in your notebook and then i hope you can understand this v um this exercise that is the first exercise for this question um in this video the second question is find the set of the value of m for which the equation has no real solution yeah what does it mean no real solution no real solution you got the value of discriminant had to be less than zero so you want to find the set of value of m okay and the first thing i need to do here no real solution is mean the discriminant less than zero so what is the discriminant i have to find that first so i got the value of a for quadratic equation here equal to one b equal to m and c equal to nine and then i got the discriminant be equal to b square minus 4ac substitution value minus 4ac so this is negative uh, minus 36 so what when i use this discriminant less than zero so this one have to be less than zero so quadratic less than zero yeah the first step find the value for quadratic equation I mean this is have to be equal to zero and I will solve here by using your calculator of course this is the one special case for quadratic equation and if you haven't learned about this I will give you um, the link for that video I have the privately video about the quadratic equation with two special cases and I will solve this one by a calculator or you can use it by manually. And you got here m equal to 6 or m equal to negative 6. Yeah, this is the true value of m. I will using, I will draw a number line for m. Left hand side value is negative 6. Here is 6. And the value for m here for, for a because a you got equal to 1 greater than 0 and it means this is positive part positive part and this is negative part i care about the less than 0 value for m so and i will care about the middle middle part and that's why i got the final answer is negative 6 less than m and less than 6 here is my final answer for this equation so what is the difference between this question and the first example? The first example, when you find the discriminant is totally the normal quadratic equation. But in this exercise, you have the special case of quadratic equation. Yeah. If you have learned, uh, if you watch my video about the special K1 and special K2 for quadratic equation, you will easily recognize this form. But maybe you haven't learned that, I will send you later. Okay, this is the true example for work with quadratic equation with parameter. You have the conditional uh, um, question, maybe the no real solution or two distinct real solution and maybe the repeating solution that, that it doesn't it doesn't too, uh, it's not too difficult for you right now because after three yeah the so totally is three example i hope you can understand more about the kind of exercise like this okay thank you so much and if you think this video is useful for you please subscribe my channel share this video to your friend and take the like button thank you so much and see you in the next video